AI is definitely not a check of all trades. The biggest risk is that these control mechanisms are not there or people are misusing the power they have in computing to, to bias those. Hi, my name is Sandra Tobler. I'm co-founder and CEO of Future A. We are a Zurich-based cybersecurity company looking into authentication and transaction signing, which is basically user-friendly logins for all sorts of web and mobile products. Uh, we use machine learning elements for our novel authentication solutions. So we are very strongly believing in the highest privacy of the user and in order to do that we take into account context data that we hash and enable with that a very seamless user interaction. AI is definitely not a check of all trades. Uh, it's a technology that can help make things more efficient. Uh, eventually, we are not there yet. Today, we are in a level where it can do anomaly recognition um, for various use cases more efficiently. I think the power of machine learning pieces is to be able to survive based on technology because it solves or it improves tremendously the performance of this specific piece that you're maybe not so good at or where you have a problem. Uh, first and foremost, in order to have performant AI, I would wish in 10 years down the road there would be ethical guidelines how to use AI. Technically, it's not possible, but um, that from an ethical point of view, there are ways that society agrees on such principles. The biggest risk is that these control mechanisms are not there, or people are misusing the power they have in computing to, to bias those. So that's why exactly we need those type of guidelines and principles. technology that can solve any type of, of world problem. However, it makes the potential areas uh, very powerful where you have huge amounts of data you need to process. If you think of, of health, where you have tremendous amount of genetic data of symptoms, what not you might need to feed systems to recognize instantly a kind of shortlist what then could help doctors or professionals to more tailored serve their patients. So like the efficiency, the tremendous amount of efficiency and support that it gives to professionals in all sorts of areas, it's extremely powerful and can help a lot of issues in the world, I would say. Thank you so much for watching this video series about AI here directly from the Business Innovation Week. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon in another video on globaltechworks.com. Thank you so much for watching.